finding a place to rent. It can be stressful and, as we know, very expensive with startup costs. So the last thing that you want to do is pay somebody but never see the keys to your new place. Yeah, our Patrick Nelson is here with an example, Patrick, of how this can really happen to anyone and some advice to protect us all. Yeah, we need to take this advice, right? Because this is not a situation you want to be in. Imagine paying someone up front to start the process of moving into what you think is a legitimate rental just to find out it was all a setup. I drove two hours down to Trinidad to talk to one family who says that's exactly what happened to them and it's something we should all be talking about. It, it definitely is a hot real estate right now. You know, we live right on the border of New Mexico. We have lots of traffic coming in all the time. You know, out of state people are here all the time. And it's a big tourist attraction for a lot of different reasons. So, yeah, I mean, I can see, you know, if, it, if I see a house for sale on the street, it's usually there and gone. Mandy Chavez reached out to News 5 because her 22-year-old son, Robert, learned the hard way how difficult searching for housing can be. This is my first experience. And I, for a first experience, it, honestly, it does suck. He says it all started when he began looking for a place to rent on Facebook and got a response. I dropped out my zip code um, and then she responded really quickly with a house. Impressed by the pictures, Robert expressed interest and the person told him through Facebook Messenger he needed to pay fees and startup costs through Cash App to secure the rental. Honestly, I was thinking about if I don't get this to her, will I honestly have a place to go to? Will I have the keys? After the first $50 payment, he realized something was off. I didn't have a walkthrough. I instantly paid the money, and then I was like, that doesn't seem right. So when he pulled back from making another payment, the person offering him the rental opportunity through Facebook got more aggressive. She kept on messaging me saying, I'm waiting, are you going to pay me? I'm waiting, I have another person. It prompted Robert to do more research and he says he made a frustrating discovery. So then I went back to the picture of the house. That same house was exactly the same house on Zillow. But it was a different person. It was from a real real estate agent. The rent was a whole different amount. Robert and his mom reported this experience as a scam to the Colorado Attorney General's office and wanted to get the word out to help save others the headache. I thought the community needs to know and people need to be aware and this generation needs to be aware that you can't trust everything on social media. Why do you think this is an important story? There are some people who are not who they say they are and you honestly have to look out for those people. Yeah, and Robert certainly had to learn this the hard way. He lost $50, but as we know, the good thing is he stopped, pumped the brakes on it. The losses could have been a lot worse. Yeah, absolutely. It could have been more than $50. So if we are going to rent something, we know that's expensive, but are there red flags we should be looking for? The before? good news is the fraudsters, they always seem to use the same playbook in these sec situations. Check it out. Now, there are consumer red flags that we can look for. If you see any of these, you just want to stop and do more research. Fraudsters often ask for large payments through cash apps. They'll usually say they need money up front before you ever sign a lease and they can't meet in person or give you a tour of the property. And often they'll say it's because they claim to be outside of the country. And one other note I want to make too is that people that work in real estate, they're well aware of what happens here. Yeah. So if you have concerns or questions, someone that's legitimate is going to understand that. Folks that are maybe trying to pull the wool over your eyes or have one of these schemes launched, they're going to get offended. They're going to get aggressive and make you feel uncomfortable. So you definitely don't want to work with somebody yeah. like that.